dear participants of the 28th International Population Conference. I'm really delighted to have this opportunity to address you during this global gathering of population scientists. For the United Nations, this conference could not have come at a more timely or judicious moment. In September of last year, the General Assembly decided to take on one of the great challenges of our time, the governance of international migration. It has decided to hold an intergovernmental conference on international migration in the fall of next year, where member states will adopt a global compact for safe, orderly, and regular migration. This compact will cover international migration in all its dimensions. It will provide guidance towards well-managed migration policies, which will benefit the international community as a whole, countries of origin, countries of destinations, and of course, migrants themselves. In my view, the Global Compact to be successful should be based on three broad principles. First and foremost, it should be people-centered. The Global Compact should be alive to the rights, the needs, and vulnerabilities, and competences of all people, migrants, including women migrants, the people they leave behind, and their new host communities. Second, the Compact should be viewed essentially as an agreement to cooperate. Successful implementation of agreed commitments in the Compact will depend on the willingness of states to enhance cooperation, not only between themselves, but also in partnership with other stakeholders, including academia and the scientific community. Third, the Global Compact must be forward-looking and grounded in reality. It must address migration in a comprehensive way, considering the variety of factors that will continue to drive and, frankly, most likely increase migration in the future. Such factors include, of course, changes in population structures, the effects of climate change, changes in the nature of work, as well as the numerous regional specificities that affect human mobility. Needless to say, I count on your support to ensure that migration policies are grounded in accurate facts and scientifically sound analysis. Member states have identified the need for reliable data on migration as a key priority for the Global Compact. Without such sound underpinnings, we risk developing and implementing poor policies while failing effectively to debunk myths, stereotypes, and negative rhetoric about migration. I'm glad to see that the International Union for the Scientific Study of Population has responded to the call by the General Assembly for input by scientific and knowledge-based institutions and has agreed to develop a set of recommendations to improve migration data and to strengthen migration research. The Global Compact process presents a unique opportunity for demographers and other migration scholars to share perspectives on how to prioritize investments in data collection and research how to mobilize the resources needed for a better understanding of all aspects of international migration. The IUSSP has contributed much to our understanding of population trends and how they interact with global development, among other issues. And of course, you have played prominent roles in earlier population conferences organized by the United Nations since Cairo in 1994. In closing, I thank the colleagues of the Population Division in the United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs for bringing the global compact process to the attention of this vital community of population experts. I wish you all the very best in your deliberation this week, and I look forward to receiving your contributions to the global compact on migration. Thank you very much.